Welcome to today's video. Today is day three of Vlogmas. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, today we're just going to do a day in the life. I have some Christmassy things planned, so I'm super excited. Right now, I'm just making some coffee. So if you're someone who likes to have stuff in their coffee or they're trying to like break away from having cream or heavy creams and sugars and all that in their coffee, but you still need something um, sweet, definitely try out one of these. I got the Coffee Meat Less Sugar French Vanilla. So I've tried this before and it actually is pretty good. The macros are 15 calories per tablespoon, which is one fat, one carb, and 0.1 protein, so basically no protein, but it's just a little something to put in if you guys are trying not to cut it out completely. This in a little zero calorie sweetener can go a long way. Trust me guys, like Starbucks coffees and stuff are amazing. I love them too, but they have so much sugar in them. So try swapping things like this out here and there. Also picked up this unsweetened vanilla almond beverage. I've seen this on Paige Riley's channel, I think before. So it's 40 calories, three fat, two carbs, one protein per 250 milliliters, which is like a cup. I just wanted to show you guys some options if you're trying to cut back on calories to make your coffee a little Little more fun if you're not a black coffee kind of person a lot of things you don't realize carry a lot of calories like cream sugar um stuff that you have every single day in your routine you can easily do like a healthy alternative or a swap out and i found that was a first start for me when i started fitness it was like making those little adjustments here and there and realizing how easy it was to actually make the adjustments and um how much I was actually consuming when I started actually keeping track of all of those things, like the little sauces and dips and spreads and actually measuring things out and realizing the serving size. So especially this time of year, there's lots of sweets around, lots of sugars, you wanna be able to enjoy yourself. So try to cut back in other areas and balance things out. That's probably my biggest tip, honestly. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish off my coffee, have some lemon water, do my vacuums um, and do some computer work and editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and I'll check it with you guys in a little bit. blankie and my coffee so i'm ready to sit down and do some work so basically what i'm doing now is just editing some videos answering any client emails or forums that have been filled out since i last checked which was yesterday morning i'm also going to be journaling so i wanted to pop on and talk about that really quickly so basically what i like to do is um every couple of days i'll write down what i'm grateful for as well as what my long-term and short-term goals are and I find this really helps keep me grounded throughout the week. Everything's pretty much closed here so I'm um, stuck at home a lot and I find it's kind of a little bit draining some days just like doing the same thing over and over and I'm like why am I doing this or whatever and I just find it really helps to keep me set and focused on my goals and why I'm doing it and what I want so highly recommend picking up a cheap little notebook from like the dollar store or something and writing some stuff down in it and I find it really helps me get my day started and I feel super good after I do it so that's what I'm gonna do now as well as um, every week or so I'll probably do like a little update in a different journal where I'll write more about what's going on um, kind of like a diary I guess but not that's what I like to do to start the day so that's what I'm gonna do now when I have my coffee and yeah if you guys try that out and it works for you um comment down below and let me know or like send me a message because I think it's definitely a great thing to get into your routine if you're struggling with a morning routine so yeah I'm gonna go get into it but figured I would pop on and let you guys know what I'm doing for the next little bit so it's quarter to 11 so I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast now it's gonna be the usual oats with egg whites and an egg white egg omelet so I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished Finished. I'm gonna have my second cup of coffee now because I am addicted but yeah I'm just still kind of working away on some stuff with my sister on my computer and I'll probably work out in a little bit so we're gonna be training lower body today so I'll show you guys that I'm gonna be incorporating some dumbbells and stuff but feel free to use whatever you have available to you at home and everything will be on the screen while I'm training and yeah so I'm starving so we're gonna go ahead and get into that and I'll take my vitamins and show you guys my vitamin stack too I classically got distracted and 
basically burnt my omelet. I was on TikTok watching TikToks and they were just super funny. Anyways, I'm just gonna go over my vitamins super quick. My oats are in the microwave and my eggs are all done. So I'm taking fish oil. So these are your essential fatty acids. I take these every single day, twice a day. I'll take two in the morning and then two usually in the mid afternoon, evening. This really helps with joint support, your skin tissue, overall immunity, your heart health, um, digestion even, especially if you're having something like a cheat meal or a higher calorie meal, it helps to break everything down. Um, I love them, I take them every single day. And if you guys are looking to find these, you'll find them on the Jack Factory website. The next thing that I'm taking is the Flex XT. Especially since I've been training with resistance bands and things at home, I've been finding myself a little bit more stiff. And I'm also doing yoga to try to help with my balance and structure, but obviously it's really new to me. So I'm sore in different places. It's helping me, but I'm also stiff, if that makes sense, just because I'm moving in different ways. Also a lot with just the overall joint support, obviously, but inflammation, your cartilage support, um, bone health, as well as your mobility. I'm just doing whatever I can in my power to make sure that my body is being fueled optimally. So if I had to pick one thing to take every single day, it would just be the multivitamin. Basically, it just helps you ensure you're not deficient in any areas. We don't want any gaps when it comes to our nutrients, vitamins, minerals, all of that. So the greens, these vitamins here that I'm talking about, all this stuff just helps to make sure that you have a healthy, balanced profile and you're doing everything that you can to not miss any gaps or be deficient in any area. Especially if you're strength training or you're an athlete or if your activity is increased or you find that you're not sleeping well, your energy levels are lower, try out a multivitamin some green, some extra vitamin D, things like that. That helps big time. Um, I also take vitamin D and probiotics. So uh, that's pretty much it for my vitamin stack in the morning. If I feel like I need certain things to help with digestion, sometimes I might take an additional digestive enzyme or turmeric supplement, something like that. But that is it for this morning. So this is what I'm gonna take now while I get my breakfast all prepared. Cheers, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my god, I just spilled it everywhere. Um, anyways, I'm just adding in some cinnamon, pink salt, and I think I might have to actually put this in the microwave again for another 30 seconds because it's pretty watery, which you guys just saw, obviously. You guys, the sad situation we have going on here. This guy is like hard as a rock, so kind of sad about that, but I'm hungry, so it is what it is. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for another 30 seconds or so and get to eating. It is around one o'clock now, so I'm gonna be doing some yoga. I've been doing this three to four times a week and it's literally like beginner's yoga, 20 minutes long. You can do like 30 to 40 minutes. I have the Glow app. I downloaded that with my roommate and I do this for kind of like some cardio, flexibility. Again, I've been really focusing on stretching and flexibility lately. I think it's been helping a lot with my movements as well as building some body weight strength while I'm training from home. So highly recommend if you guys haven't tried it out. I also find that it just kind of calms me down and gives me like a good start to the day, helps me kind of clear my mind and get focused. So I'm really nervous about my like guide launch and everything. I know at this point when you guys are watching this video, everything will already have been launched, but this is the day before right now. So I'm filming a couple days in advance and um, I'm nervous and excited. So if you guys haven't checked out my guide yet, go ahead and take a look. Also, guys, today is the last day for the donation piece. So 50% of profits made from my glue guides from December 13th to the 15th are all gonna be donated to add some women's shelter. There's a link down below. My sister and I came together to do this for add some and we wanna run it through the whole Vlogmas. So any contribution is um, greatly appreciated. And if my day one Vlogmas video gets 50 likes and comments um, or a combination of both, I'm gonna double my donation. So I have $50 already donated myself, but um, my sister and I are gonna double our donations if that video gets the comments and likes. So basically just trying to create some awareness as well as create awareness for my giveaway, which is posted on Instagram and all the details are in the day one video. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. But I'm a little anxious and nervous and all of that right now because it's not launched yet in my time. So um, yeah, I'm gonna just basically sit down, do some yoga, stretch out, and then we'll get into a workout. So you guys will see me when we're starting the workout and I will link the Glow app down below if you are interested in downloading that. I honestly can't even explain to you guys how much better and more relaxed I feel now that I did that. 20 minutes is life changing. You can even do like 10 to 15 minute ones. Um, I've linked a free one below if you guys don't wanna download the Glow app. Sometimes I just go with the ones on YouTube. So I literally just look up ones for beginners and I, again, I'm not very good at it, but it helps me relax and just calm down so much more. So highly recommend. I even 
light a little candle while I do it. This one's from Michael's. It was $6 or something and they smell so good. I have another one over here. Ignore my mess, guys. <laughs> but um, this one's probably my favorite. And again, $6 on sale at Michael's. So if you have a Michael's near you, go get a candle, guys. They smell amazing. You guys, try out this workout and you enjoy it. Comment down below, tag me, let me know. I'm really trying to get creative here with these ones. I'm gonna be hosting as many as I can, especially while I'm training from home. I'm gonna take some Nitro Surge now, so you guys will see me dry scoop that. Probably gonna do the blue raspberry flavor, and then we will get right into the workout. I just tipped over all of my pre-workout. <laughs> camera and I forgot to put the top on properly and I literally made a mess oh my god what a mess what a mess okay well I'm fueled up and ready to go for this leg day now but I'm covered in pre-workout so I'm like honestly should I just like Zamboni it off the floor is that is it bad that that thought crossed my mind that I thought about literally salvaging it off the floor and just consuming it that is horrible Banded squats are really great warm-up. I really try to activate my hamstrings and glutes with that movement So even if you can get a little bit lower than I'm getting with this chair do that This is just the only chair that I really have but yeah, I'm going in with some hydro surge now So I usually drink this during my workout if you guys have a BCAA go for that too. This is great It's an electrolyte supplement. So it's gonna help hydrate me and my muscles and yeah, we're gonna go ahead have some of this now and I'm gonna eat so I've got 
oats. I'm gonna put a scoop of Jack Factory protein powder in this, just the chocolate peanut butter flavor. And I've got chicken, sweet potato, and green peas. So that's what I'm gonna have while she gets a snack. She's in here somewhere. No, I'm not so Anyway, it's gonna eat now, and then we're gonna head out. We're trying to find matching pajamas because we're doing some pictures for our family and stuff to send away for Christmas and um, just for Christmas Day and stuff. So. We haven't had any luck yet, but we're gonna keep the hunt going. So we'll take you guys with us when we get out shopping. I'm gonna eat because I'm starving, so peace. So we are in Dartmouth Crossing. Um, we are going to do some Christmas shopping and we're looking for pajamas like I told you earlier. There's a couple different stores like Marshalls. Um, is there an Old Navy up here? Yeah, I'm gonna try to find it out. Yeah, it's a Old Navy. Home. Some different places that we're gonna go to try to find matching pajamas or something for our photos and for Christmas Day. Cause we're stuck here, just three of us for Christmas. Us and our, my roommate Emily. So yeah, um, we'll take you into the stores with us. I'll try to film what I can if people aren't being weird, but we'll see what it, goes like you never really know just wanted to give you guys a little update me a medium coffee and if you want to get yourself an ice water oh, don't worry about it it's on me uh, hi can i please have a medium black coffee yeah is that everything uh yes please oh it's so hot but it's so good <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> I'm okay, so pajamas. Good. Her plan is to take Polaroid photos. So we both have a Polaroid camera. Uh, actually, funny story, one year when she first moved here, we both um, got each other gifts. Like she bought my gift in Halifax and I bought hers in Newfoundland. It was our first birthday of her. Yeah, and she came home and we opened our gifts for each other and we both got each other a Polaroid, Polaroid camera. camera. And like, no, no one knew. knew. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no one knew. And anyways, we were like, that is so freaky and weird. And anyways, like none of like we never ever mentioned Polaroid cameras to each other. So we're gonna, anyways, we're gonna use the Polaroid cameras and take pictures of each other. Um, make some ornaments. Yeah, make Christmas some little like gifts. like poke holes in them for our family because we're all away from home this Christmas and we're also just gonna get some pictures on the camera and do them off and just like put them in cards and stuff. So if you guys are watching this at home, you're gonna be getting some cute little Christmas stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys because it's kind of like a little DIY Christmas ornament, cute thing to do with your friends. So to be with his hand. <laughs> talk with my hands. You guys already know that. So anyways, it's dark. So we'll see you guys when we get home. So I'm making some ground turkey and while it's cooking up, I'm going to be practicing posing. I'm not gonna show that yet because my routine's not done and I'm not totally confident in my posing. I literally have started from scratch again, which is good because the way I was posing and moving and whatnot just wasn't um, correct, I should say. It just wasn't, it wasn't good and I feel like I have been tweaking a lot of things and I'm super excited, but I wanna show you guys my routine and posing once I really like have it nailed. So I'm just gonna practice walking in the heels today for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's usually like one day I'll do walking, the next day I'll do posing and then kind of incorporate them both because my check-ins in a few days. So practicing posing guys, if you wanna be the best, you have to practice like the best and it's super important and posing is one of the main things when it comes to competing. So while that's cooking up, I'm going to be walking in the heels and then go for a little walk to get my steps in and my car in and then come back and eat some ground turkey sweet potatoes and veggies and then we're gonna get into some fun Christmas stuff so we're gonna be making some protein hot chocolate which we're super excited about as well as some Christmas crafts and I'll show you guys all of that so it should be a good night but got to get this stuff done first now I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll check in with you guys in a little bit classic white fish rice and veggies Okay, so we are getting all set up to do our little pictures for Christmas. So I've got my ring light behind me here, and I've got this here, which I got from Amazon. We have Christmas music on, candles lit, and we have our little PJ sets all out. How do we look, guys? Okay, so these are the ingredients we're gonna be using for the protein hot chocolate. So we have some Jack Factory Authentic ISO. We've got our little Christmas mug. Um, I've got some peppermint bark syrup. I like this one because it's kind of like a candy cane hot chocolate that way. 
and we have some low calorie almond milk. I have the vanilla one here and some marshmallows or you can use this topping. I just found this at the grocery store. I don't know what it actually tastes like. We haven't tried it before. And a shaker and some hot water. The girls are gonna give us a little review when it's all done. And then we're gonna get into taking some family photos. Okay, so Em's gonna try it out. All right, go. here we go. And she has one too. Yeah, does it taste like regular hot chocolate? Yeah. But there's like peppermint stuff yeah, in it. Yeah, peppermint and stuff. Really good. Love it. Loves it. Loves it, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dope. <laughs> so. Make for a special someone. This is what we're doing now, making little Polaroid ornaments. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll show you guys what other ornaments we make. Don't forget to check out the day one video if you guys wanna enter the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.